All right, ladies and gents, I saw the ELO on your screens, and I thought maybe we had the Legend of McLean playing, because McLean, last I checked, was 9 ELO, and for those that have watched those videos, by the way, McLean has not played in two weeks. Uh, however, we found a low ELO showdown, which with much lower ranks um, than the, the majority of the low ELO cast. In the uh, red, we've got... I can't say that name. Uh, playing as the Goths. Uh, adding a dock already. Um, got Loom already. Two villagers on sheep. One, Two villagers on trees. This is perfect. And then in the blue, we have Max Tevez. 28. Max Tevez. I believe they said this profile is from Argentina. So maybe a very big Tevez fan? Or I don't know. Maybe first name Max, last name Tevez. Maybe a relative of Carlos Tevez. Was it Carlos Tevez Argentinian? Man, that's like the second football reference of the day. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, apologies, I can't say Red's name, but Red is at 63 ELO. And Blue is at 16 ELO. Now, it's a little confusing. So when we were looking at the profiles, Red hasn't played in three weeks. So it showed zero for me, but updated ELO should be 63. If you were inactive, it will not show a rank for you. Tevez over here has played quite a few games, has maybe won like two or three out of like 40 or 50. And the idle TC time is flying, guys. This is, this is true low ELO. Um, you know, we've got houses in a nice little pretty line here for, for red. Blue, houses in a nice pretty line, kind of blocking the berries a little bit. Uh, Ville production stalled out at seven for blue. Hasn't created a villager in two minutes. But did find these sheep here. But if you were to add up 63 and 16, it wouldn't even reach 90 in my name. What would that be, 89? <laughs> wait, hold on. So, uh, quick math here. Yeah, wait. No, 79? Oh, wait. No, 80? Why am I getting confused by this? It's 79. Sorry. I swear to God, my math wasn't that bad, but I just like really froze because of the pressure of people judging me. And it just, oh, oh, it was a lot, okay? It was a lot. Blue's been really active with the scout, though. So, when I think of Loey the Legends, these are the following things I think of. They never dock. Well, there's a dock. There's a dock. So, they both broke in that meta. The next thing I think of is uh, they don't build lumber camps until these trees are chopped. And that is very much accurate. Both players are chopping the straggler trees. Now, my suggestion for those that would like to improve and maybe give me potentially less headaches in the future is get into the rhythm of making a lumber camp because it is a lot more efficient for you. And Red, maybe timing this, realizing these trees are going to be gone soon, placing a lumber camp near the trees will then have more efficient wood choppage in the future. Now... I don't know how much Red knows about the Goth bonuses, but Red might know that the Goths can get up to 210 population in the Imperial Age. Uh, and, and clearly Red is planning for that because Red already in the Dark Age has a pop space of 55. The Red's houses are in a perfect straight line and Red has shown me no signs of this uh, house wall stopping anytime soon. Why has Blue wandered forward with the villager here? What's Blue's scouting look like? Okay, so Blue has made some fishing ships, which I really like. Um, Blue's scout is standing off in the distance, and then she was brought here for something? I just don't know why. There's also a very good chance that the idle villager hotkey is never used for these players. They probably don't check idols at all. If this is a misclick, she might stand here for the next 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, you know what this is for, guys. Max Tevez doesn't want no stinking berries. Tevez wants to farm. And, again, no lumber camp yet. The villagers are walking long distances to drop off the wood. But the Teutons do have cheap farms. And there's the first farm. Okay, so we have the dock. We've had two fishing ships. 
We've had the mill and we've had two farms before a lumber camp. That's not going to help the efficiency. Let's see. Let's see the history of these villagers' lives, shall we? They have been moving for 22% of the time. They've been on food 18% of the time. And they've been on wood 57% of the time. What about this lady's life? Oh, oh, she's moving again. Oh, she's moving again. We're going to focus on this villager right now. Max is on the way to Feudal Age. Max has a plan with this specific villager. What is the plan? Walking around. Getting some scouting. Now, the scouting was done in the south, so maybe Blue saw something. <gasps> Shh. <gasps> no way! Wait, did Red notice that? Blue's doubling back. Blue's freaked out right now. Max is scared. And then the scout's like, huh? What did I see? Oh, what? Wait, hold. What? Oh, shh. That was so close. Well, what, on, what crazy timing, though. Uh, Red, who does have the lumber camp here and is still walking long distances to chop wood here, has queued up six fishing ships. But, man, Red, like, completely missed her, and she is going to build an outpost there now for vision. Now, if I had to guess, I would say forward barracks would be the plan. Like, maybe a forward little base here for Max. But Max, for the love of God, buddy, make a lumber camp before I lose my freaking mind. <laughs> These villagers are walking way too far for the trees. A tower. Ooh. Okay, so here's some here's some details. So the tower will shoot arrows. It will also give vision. And in Castle Age, the tower will have murder holes, which means it can hit units underneath the tower, right? What Red won't know is that villagers have bonus damage against the tower, and it's, like, super easy if the tower's not walled in to just send five villagers and take the tower down in feudal. Now, Red might never encounter that tower because Red Scout is over here right now. But Blue's trying to control this area. Um, Red's collected's got to be insane for Blue... Uh, for Red, rather. Yeah, Red's collected more. I imagine this will continue to grow because of the fishing ships but also because of some of the eco being efficient. Blue. Okay, give me a number. How many uh, farms will we see before a lumber camp? <laughs> this has now become a guessing game. Because, <laughs> I mean, we're at 13 pop. There's four farms already. Please, you have the wood for lumber camp. Please, this is it. I feel like it's going to be mining camp with a forward villager on stone instead of a lumber camp. Please make a mining camp. Come on. Max is also fishing over here. <laughs> I guess in all fairness, Max couldn't find a deep fish and traveled all this way for the deep fish. Now, I would say maybe take a little look around, see if you can find some fish in the darkness. I called it. We have a mining camp on the forward stone and gold before a lumber camp at home for Max. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. This is going to get interesting. These guys are pretty used to not being attacked early at this rank. And Red really wants these berries. And there's a tower there. Red is also wandering over here with fishing ships. Holy, Red's really making fish. Oh, Red's gonna... Red is fishing the whole map. The oceans are gonna be gutted by Red. Where are we going? This is scouting, right? That's what this is. This is scouting all the fish for the future. Uh, there's a barracks here. Man-at-Arms is being researched. And immediately after researching Man-at-Arms, we are seeing Red make spearmen. So Red does not know that that is upgrading a different type of unit than the Spearman. It is just a really cool looking button. But yes, it does not affect Spearman. The tower so far, nothing has happened to it. And this villager is just taking the gold. We have a lumber camp for Max! Yes! Okay, Max has the lumber. 
and then red is going for some long distance fishing but guys who cares if it's long distance this is really good like that is eco right there if you eliminated the fishing ships it's 14 bills for red and 13 for blue the fishing is really nice scout from red also is scouting around and will counter blue's base finally and I think red is going to do something about this tower soon. You take the furthest fish first so you can take them cl the closer fish later since it's yours already. Ah, uh, yeah, you think? Okay. Um, villagers, I think we're all hit by the tower and they'll go idle when that happens. So the towers definitely had an effect. Interesting game. Uh-oh. 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 We could have blood, folks. We could have blood. Now, it kind of felt like Auto Scout, the way Red Scout was moving. And I think it is. Will Red be able to locate this scout when the attack signal plays? I could easily see this scout just being followed for five minutes and eventually dying. But if Red notices this, Red should bring the scout home to the Spearman. As we are following this brutal, ridiculous fight, I should point out, Max has the wood upgrade, the farm upgrade, and wheelbarrow. Good things to have for the long run. Also is apparently making a blacksmith at home. Red has not shown me that this has been noticed. Red has made a tower here. So Red noticed the tower and said, Aha, I see your tower and I'll raise you a tower. <laughs> Cammy says for fletching. I could see blue getting fletching. Definitely. Can we please salute them all for this game so far and also respect the fishing ships? Guys, sub 100 ELO is making fishing ships. They probably don't even have hotkeys at all whatsoever. None of them. So, if you, dear viewer, have some hotkeys, feel you're a bit better than this, I think it shows you what you can do with fishing ships. Oh, a forward barracks. Of course. Oh, of course Max is building a forward barracks. Never thought you'd see a fishing ship scout the forward barracks, would you? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Rewind. Blue, did you just get bored or what? <laughs> I think Blue got sick of chasing the scout. And uh, <laughs> is just going to go look for something else. Okay. I mean, in all fairness, if Blue is looking to go scout something immediately, I'm okay with it. But... I mean, Max, you could have just let the scout keep chasing, bro. Did the scout need a rest? Oh, it did? And is this great content? Oh, it is. All right. Thank you. Cool. Cool. Awesome stuff. Um, there's the barracks now. We'll see if anything's produced out of it. If I had to guess, Tootins get supplies, right? There is no world in which a 16 needle player can resist the force that is supplies. But I think it's also possible Max is waiting for the resources to go Castle Age. Red is... <laughs> Well, if you're wondering what Red was focusing on, that answers it. Red has expanded the housing over here on the shoreline, and it's all pretty perfect. And these villagers have continued to be hit by the tower, and that continues to be ignored. More villagers are being sent to the wood line. More villagers for Red. Red is in the better spot. If you're a low elo player, you pick the Goths because of the cheap infantry later. So if you have the eco lead as the goths, you can pretty much beat any Sith. But um, the Teutons are a good counter to the goths in some ways. What are the chances the houses are the facing the same way? Um, some of the houses are facing the same way, but not all of them. So I don't think this is intentional from Red. But for... Oh, there's supplies! Called it, baby! Supplies! And it looks like Max has seen the opponent is fishing here. And wants to deal with that. Now, here's the sad thing about supplies. Supplies discounts 
well, this isn't the sad thing, but what supplies actually does is it discounts the food cost you spend on the militia line. Now, 97.1% of people who have a research it don't even know at this ELO. But you would say, like, well, T90, it's actually good then if he's going to make militia line. Well, yes. But the crappy thing is, if you queue the militia before supplies completes, you actually are paying normal price. So, Blue's kind of getting scammed here. I don't know how much food would be saved on two men at arms, but... They were purchased, they were pre-ordered, before supplies completed. So, just another... Another way in the gaming industry that pre-ordering is a scam. Um, we've got galleys now. As the plan from the forward dock from Max. Now, Max has a really aggressive mindset here. Max is currently housed, which is not a problem Red is having. And are we going to attack the weak villagers who are only holding baskets to defend themselves? No, we are not. Max knows the power of the tower. And Max is going to attack that tower. Now, these villagers have been through a lot. They're just trying to go to work and they consistently get smacked in the back of the head with an arrow. And they don't seem all that interested in their protection going down. The forward archer range is well from Max. The villagers just stand here looking like zombies. And I don't know if Red noticed this at all. I think Red might just be building up a force here. Uh, fire galley, actually, from Red. To defend from that. Wow, really well played. That should defend from the galleys. And another dock from Red. Okay. Blue is making houses at home. So now all the things in queue can be made. And we have first blood. We have first blood. Now is Red a town beller here? Are we going to hear a ding? Uh. Oh boy. Sucks to be these vills. Such a tough life. Oh boy. Um. Okay, so red click the units here to defend. And the villagers end up dying uh, to the pathing and GG to those fields. Okay. I mean, guys, what blue has going for... <laughs> Blue's going to try a wall in the base. What blue is thinking right now is if I am taking the fight to the enemy, the enemy can never hurt me. And it's, it's good thinking. Like, be aggressive, and then the enemy is constantly distracted. Blue's going to sell some food, sell some wood, buy some food to click up to Castle Age. The problem with this is Blue is wide open at home. So Red has to have the, the guts here to be able to ignore this. And for now, Red is unable to do that, but Red is making quite a few fire galleys here. Which is kind of sad is the fire is actually not doing any damage to the skirms because the dock is blocking the flames. So the skirms are slowly winning the battle. Blue on the way to Castle Age. Pretty advanced strategies here. Mining camps are a little out of the way, you know. Not too bad. Red, I mean, Red's not too bad either. Big AI army here from Red. Big AI energy. Oh my god, Blue is actually attacking the Fire Galley with the Villager, even. Nothing's coming out of the dock, so I guess eventually the dock goes down and then the Skirms will go down. Um, I would say that, like, at a higher rank, Knights in the next stage from Blue could end the game. But one counterattack from Red here, and Red could end the game. We'll see how it goes. That is enough houses to give, uh, what is it? 150 pop space to red. Doc's going to go down. Forward stable going up. Red, you have to stop this. That stable's going to complete. Doc from blue didn't really accomplish much. Well, that's, that's not true. It was a nice distraction. Oh, no. Oh, the timing. Boom! Ship taken out with men-at-arms and spearmen. Boom! Ship taken out with skirms. Boom! Stables up. Villager on the run. Runaway lady. You're trapped by skirmishers. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, how did she do that? Okay. 
Couple archers on the way as well now from blue. Blue is given up on ships. And the dock from blue goes down. All right. Um, I am noticing a bit of dark elf from red. All the farmers seem to be lady villagers and all the miners and the lumberjacks are male villagers. Is this player trying to play Dark Elf style here? We have a video. Uh, Dark Elf does that. That's pretty no It's pretty interesting. Also, these the villagers that went out to the berries were for lady villagers. Hmm. That stable could have made some knights, but that would be too easy. We're at low elo here. And players are ch constantly changing up the strategy all the time. And Bloodlines is being researched in a stable that might not exist any longer. And Red is pissed. Red is angry. And as the saying goes, you can't counter everything. All right? You might counter archers. You might counter spears. You might counter scouts on its own. But if I make literally everything, how are you supposed to counter it? You can't. That's a low elo brain. And honestly, it, it especially works well against lower elo players because they... What do they make against this? The answer, by the way, is make one thing and get full upgrades on that one thing and commit to it. Because only a certain percentage of the enemy's army is actually going to be effective against that thing. So like knights, for example, the skirms die, the skirms struggle there, the scouts struggle there, the man at arms struggle there, the spearmen don't. But it's chaos. Oh my god, we've got mangonels and archers and spearmen against ships down here people this is just complete and utter chaos what is this matchup we st we're gonna have squires and arson researched in the barracks before it goes down red is aiing down the mining camps as blue is attacking the mill <laughs> buildings are being raised by both players in the same part of the screen uh Manganel is actually doing a sick job. I wouldn't suggest making a Manganel against ships normally, but I've never really seen it before, so... This isn't doing too bad. And it's a really close game. Blue is also... Oh, yo, Blue made army in here! Blue's like, I made a little hole to put my ranged units so I could stop Red from taking these resources, but the galley... Well, I thought it was hitting the Cav Archer, but I guess it can't? I don't know. Now, look at this, guys. The Sneak Villager is building up a, a new TC here. And we have eco upgrades at home from Blue. And Blue is going to kill the galley. Oh, my God. The Archer Range will stay alive then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are we going? Where are we going? Ah. Oh. All right. So, we'll see what happens with these Vils. Actually, to answer our question on Dark Elf. Oh, wait a second. Do you see that? Four male bills. They get sent off to do work elsewhere, away from the town. And then the little peaceful lady comes out and she goes to a farm. That's intentional. All right. So we have a, a, a noob dark elf here, basically. I made a video on dark elf. It's a player. It's like seven or 800 elo. Found dark elf three years ago. And maybe that's a dark elf inspired strategy. Meanwhile, in 2023, she's gone forward. She's made the tower, the barracks, and the stable. He's like, I could do it all. Let's go. And now a new town center's up here. So nice job from Max. It's all in good fun, all right? Don't take it too far. It's all in good fun. Some people like play the game in some unique ways. I will also say that, like, Red has a lot of SimCity aspects to the gameplay, right? The houses, right? Uh, very SimCity. The farm box, very SimCity. The building placement here, also very SimCity. Um, still continues, like, land units versus navy units. But, like, at higher ranks, you think, oh my goodness, two town centers. Their eco is going to be insane. And they're producing out of both. Oh, what? He is producing out of both. Max! Well, I want to say advantage Max, but Red's about to reach Castle Age, and Red can drop a castle. And... Oh my god, Red is fish trapping the edge of the map. Okay. 
which actually he might be fist trapping <laughs> okay hear me out red might be fist trapping the edge of the map because blue keeps attacking the shoreline with stuff so the way fist traps work is it's basically like a villager on a farm it doesn't matter where the fist trap goes it, it could still work it could also be because the fist traps straight then it just looks good but fist trapping's huge and it also doesn't matter <laughs> there's it, it's just a fishing ship there's not a male or female villager out of the dock so it kind of allows you to have food eco if the tc does not yeah maybe some crazy ocd strats here i mean i made the joke that red wanted to get to 210 pop space in dark age and we're now in castle age and i'm seeing more houses and i really think that red knows that gots get that 210 pop space and is planning for it but it's only in the imperial age also you know what red does that is very fat slob is the landing pad for the vills remember those who watched my content for a long time it's like now this is for the straight farms probably but all the new villagers they don't go to a task they just they just like pop out here and red has never built anything there so it's a lot easier for red to see the vills more experienced players will do other things like set a rally point or something oh god manganels and and i mean blue just won't give up with this his barracks 106 hp and a castle at home from blue dang this is amazing still like the, something i will say th there's they're both similar in their strengths and weaknesses they bob obviously both have their struggles but blue is a chaotic player and blue likes control and blue likes to attack so red is never counter-attacked and that's concerning because blue is wide open at home but blue is always doing enough to distract red and make red worry that villager is going to repair the barracks <laughs> she was sent to repair this barracks <laughs> i love it max you could just make a safer barracks nearby you could make a barracks here and another and another and another and it's completely fine you don't need that barracks but no, that is the barracks. That is the main barracks. And like have oh, a great decision from Red. And Red. Oh, careful. 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 Red's army will clear up all the siege. And there's more siege from Blue, and that's going to get cleared up as well. That's a problem. 58 eco for red, 57 for blue, blue as one army, and now zero. And this is the goths we're talking about. The houses will give red all the population. We'll see if red can maybe get to the imperial age. I'm going with red on this one, guys. Red is 63 elo, and max is 16. I still don't get, like... I guess it's tricky because we are 50 minutes into the game. But their elo is still baffling to me. I feel like they're much better than their ranks. I mean, don't get me wrong. One counterattack, blue might have struggled, right? Like red against a proper scout rush might die really hard. But I think they both played pretty good. It's a nice matchup. Teutonic Knights on the way. Teutonic Knights may be the goth killer right there. That gives Max a good shot. Max also building a castle down here next to Moorstone. That gives Max a good shot. Max also 18 on food is a nice stat to have. Red cannot build the castle because the crossbows are standing on the foundation. I'm hoping Red notices that. Red just put the villagers back on stone. Uh, we have Ironclad now from Max. Max, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you don't even know what that does. You just know that that's a cool thing. And you click the crown. It could also be like maybe Max knows about crenellations and is confusing that with crenellations, which is the uh, gold unique tech. Ironclad adds melee armor to the siege. There's no siege right now, but if there's more siege again at some point, that would do that. Oh, man, guys. Oh, man. Blue is really massing up the KP boys. Guys, we have a T92 in Z mode, all right? This would be a good time for it. 
Neither player has researched blacksmith upgrades. This is Max we're talking about. Max is going to want to attack that gold. And the castle's not up yet from red. That's critical. That's crucial. The crossbows are a bunch of traitors with their... Their heels. Standing on the foundation. It's also a bit weird. I thought the unit would move. Like, if you tell a unit... A villager to build a castle, the unit normally moves. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, I mean, red is... is Focusing on making sure the villagers are spaced out properly, apparently. Max is on his way to him. Okay, like that. I don't know what changed this time. Because before the villagers just stood there. Anyways, one villager castle on the way. You know what would be the biggest max energy thing ever? Is the transport ship. I don't know why... But, like, sometimes low-elo players who are, like, who are sneaky like Max, they try and go for things that are way too fancy. So I could see a transport ship and a bunch of Teutonic Knights in the transport and, like, looping them around or something. Oh, this dock is the perfect one. Because Max is going to think I could transport around. Obviously, there's Navy, though, so I would not do that. Red needs to go up to the Imperial Age soon. Holy houses. 47 houses. Blacksmith is coming up. That's the first blacksmith for Red in the game. And Castle will be good enough to go up to the next stage. We've got Heated Shot. Towers and Castles. Do more damage against ships. Could kind of be helpful. Players normally confuse that with chemistry. That is not chemistry. No relics collected. Most of the relics are in this spot of the map. Look at Max with different groups of capes. This has been a close game, guys. Really close game. A lot of this might come back to the fact that Red hasn't gone up to the Imperial Age yet. But then again, it's Goths. I think production buildings are a big thing, too. How many production buildings are there for infantry? Well, for Max, there's three because of three castles. And I guess technically for Red, it's the castle and then the barracks. But you would want to have a bunch of barracks with the Goths. All right, Red has not really seen the opponent's base since Feudal Age. <laughs> and is going to go out in a scouting party here. No, wait a second. Is Red going to heal up the army? Is that the, what this is? Nope, okay. I don't know exactly. Red seems very indecisive. Look at all the blue farms there for Max. We're going to see a one villager castle right next to all this, aren't we? Okay. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Army to protect the gold. Blue is making a treb and has 30 Teutonic Knights. Not a single blacksmith upgrade for any of them. Teutonic Knights will shred in a no blacksmith upgrade game. What's the plan here? Um, maybe there's other things to do. Dropping a new town center. Maybe the Imperial Age could be good. I really like how straight the fist traps are. <laughs> it's very satisfying. How aggressive is Max? Max can see that. We have Anarchy, we have Forging, we have Ballistics. Oh boy, Red found the Blacksmith. That means more upgrades are coming in. Oh, jeez. Anarchy means Huskarls can be created from a barracks. Teutonic Knights. The capes are here, people. 80 HP, 14 base attack, solid melee armor, even the Trebs on this. And Teutonic Knights won't take much damage against these things at all. It would really be archers that would be the problem for them if they didn't have upgrades. Now, Red? Red went for some pretty big defensive attacks earlier, but now we have Teutonic Knights everywhere on the... the, the what, Blacksmith actually denied the Blacksmith upgrades? The University, too? And Red clicks up to the Imperial Age, and the new town center will drop a castle next to this. Is going to drop siege workshops. 
But red doesn't have barracks, and red's gonna make Huskarls. Now, Huskarls an anti-archer unit. That is not going to be it against a Teutonic Knight. But, Murder Holes is in. And Max has clicked the castle, and Max doesn't have the treb here yet. If red were to garrison, I think the castle might actually kill the Teutonic Knights. There's also going to be, like, monks around. There's some Huskarls, too. It's very messy. Now, remember, Blue researched Arson earlier, so that leads to taking out the buildings faster. There's never a question on if Red's going to have pop space, guys. Red's making Skirms, making Knights, making Monks, making Huskarls. It's a big mix. The castle will fall. However, Red's army will grow, and I think Red can survive from this. I like how the Treb show up, showed up now. I seriously think Red can survive from this. And even just that forging upgrade, that little bit of extra firepower could pay off here. Obviously, Red has not really run away with the Vils, so it's a bad time to be a villager. And Red's under a lot of pressure, but Red's still got this castle. Like, Red's still kind of okay. What a match. What a duel. Huskarl will be doing four damage a hit? It should be one damage a hit. Like, it should get to that point if the upgrades were to come in for blue. But I don't think blue will ever go to the blacksmith. All right. You chase that skirmisher, Teutonic Knights. A cape and away. And red hits the Imperial Age. Red has the score lead despite the eco KD. Red still has monks, but maybe doesn't know what to do with them. Look at red making one of everything. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I get red, like blue is a plan, and blue says, I'm going to make, I pick this Civ, I do this only, and, you know, we, we keep it simple. Red is the other extreme, where red's like, a little bit of monk, pike, petard, skirm, crossbow, light calf, um, huskarl, knight, manganel, fire ship, galley. And let's just make a mining camp right underneath the trebuchet as well. Let's get some monk upgrades, too. I don't know if Red has any clue what these do, but Red's like, why not? We've got the resources for it. Red doesn't have gold income, though, guys. Not having gold income is a really big deal here. Especially when gold is being spent on monk upgrades. As we said before, Teutons are the ultimate trash comp killer. So, like, Pike Skirms would all be doing one damage a hit against the Teutonic Knight, even if the Teutonic Knights don't have the upgrades. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Toons resist conversion. I was kind of thinking that Teutonic Knight could work his way through every single monk there. <laughs> without getting converted. That KD is amazing for Blue. Blue is never going to make another unit ever. How can you get over this high? I would feel so good right now. 30 kills with these four units that are remaining. This is nuts. We have Galleon. <laughs> Galleon from Red. Of all the things to upgrade right now. Red will make a new TC over there. So I'm going to assume they don't know what relics do. Right? I think that's a fair assumption. Um, obviously they know about Trebs. Max has brought Trebs forward here. Eventually, some of this is going to die. Oh, boy. Two Teutonic Knights are about to be converted. That will happen. One gets converted. Second one gets converted. Okay, that's huge. There's one Treb from blue here on Red's castle. Oh, Max, you're crazy. Max is dropping another castle. And Max has switched primarily to trebuchets and castles as the main form of attack. The galleons and the fire ships are being tasked onto the walls. Red is not happy that these walls are here. And perhaps a bigger threat than the walls, though, Red, would be the trebuchets and the castle that's going up, if you see it. This is a really nice position for Blue to treb from. A couple of the trebs have been forgotten. Max has gold income. Red has it again as well. Max is trebbing the mill... That is researching crop rotation. You can raid people's farms. 
or you can treb down the mill and deny the upgrade. Knowing this could go late game. Max, prioritize the right thing. What a beast. Trebbing down the mill. And those farms are still going to last forever, but not quite as long. His crop rotation was denied. Meanwhile, we've got Max with the tower. Uh, we've got repairs happening right now for Red. Now, Red has made uh, some Huskarls again. And maybe Huskarls could make its way over to this treb. Again, Red literally clicked these walls. Like, Red is really annoyed with those walls. It needs good units. And the champion line would be great, but that requires a lot of upgrades. So, I don't know if that's ever going to happen here. Oh, boy. The rest of the trebs are on the way. But, is Red on the way to that treb? Oh, this is so relatable. I love this. It's adorable. Red clicked this treb, right? But what we see is we see Red walking past all the other trebs to get to it. Nice repairs on the castle. I mean, castle's been a pretty solid weapon. Oh! Max is using the trebs against the light cap and the mangonel! Oh! Max has lost the Teutonic Knights underneath the castle! Max's trebuchets are going to go down, and Max is probably like, how? The trebuchets were not protected, and Red refuses to quit. The 31 on food for Red will last forever. The trebs are very expensive, and the Teutonic Knight number needs to climb again. What a twist in our tail, friends. This is an amazing game. Now, I'm still seeing tons of gold areas that Max could be taking. And still seeing a lot of upgrades that Max could be getting. But, you know what I think is nice? is like, the Ballistics and Murder Holes upgrade. Really helpful for Red here. Because the castles have been the main threat against Teutonic Knights. Did you guys hear a noise there? No, you cannot update, you stupid computer. Sorry. My other computer trying to update on me right now. Or maybe, maybe Microsoft wanted an update on how Max's eco is. I don't know. I think Max could be in trouble. Like, Max is going to make knights now and is, is making Teutonic knights. Heavy scorpion for red? That's good against infantry. Uh, what, a, what a good job there, though, from red to treb that down and keep this castle up. We got more trebs from Max. Who just has to be careful of that castle fire. Town center now from red to control this area. Max won't see any of that. Max is building a defensive castle. And Max not protecting trebuchets again. I think, though, this is going to be frustrating for Max fans. But it's just clicked for Max right there, okay? That moment has told Max I must always protect the trebs. I don't think Max will make that mistake again. Knights and Teutonic Knights still really good against Huskarls. It's just the Huskarls are able to get there in time to take out the last trip. No relics collected. I like Red's consistency with the villager production. I like how um, progressive Red is now. Now that the things have gotten really stressful. Seems like villagers are able to diversify and work at any job they want, which is great. Um, I like how consistent Red's producing villagers. I like how Red's always producing something out of the barracks, the stable, or the archery range. But I like how Max is getting war galley. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to come out of my mouth, but that's what he did. So I was going to be like, I like how Max is making Teutonic Knights and has castles. Oh, man. Max doesn't see this. If Max could just get, like, 10 more villagers on gold consistently, that'd be super nice. Or, of course, find the blacksmith. Like, both players need to locate the blacksmith. How many of you thought you would be here in 2023 watching Fikotarax Morale and Max Tevez 28 playing a sub-100 ELO duel in Age of Empires 2? What a world we're living in. Elite Huskarl now for red. Now that will make... That will up the base attack. That will up the HP. That ups the armor a bit. Still 
garbage against Teutonic Knights. But better than before. So that's that's helpful. Raven says, bad life decisions brought me here. What are you talking about? I feel so offended. Thank you for all the subs, by the way. K Moose, Demon Llama, Prox, welcome back. Glad to be back. Uh, Stampage, Zerlega, Colega. Thank you. This is a grind. Also, Red is that much closer to taking out these walls, guys. It'll just take another hour. This looks like a monastery that a player places if they know they can collect that relic. Oh boy. Okay, farms. What happened? I think villagers got double clicked. Oh boy. Oh shoot. Oh no. They're all seeding the same farm. Oh boy. Uh. I'm gonna say misclick on that one. Blacksmith has been found. That is really, really bad for Max. That is really bad. That adds... I mean, th th there's potentially more as well after those upgrades. Remember, Max took out the Blacksmith with the Teutonic Knights before. Max doesn't have Trebs right now. What is Max looking at? See the APM? They're all over the place. They've been fully focused this whole time. Coinage! <laughs> Every single game! <laughs> it never fails. <laughs> Do we need a coinage emote? Okay, people. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. For the one person that doesn't know, like Red. Coinage reduces the tax when you send resources to an ally. This is not a team game, so there's no allies. So you're spending gold to reduce tax to someone, you know, which does nothing, right? It does not mean... It gives you gold, all right? Oh, God, no, not the next one that is Caravan, no! Oh, it's so deceiving. I feel so bad. But also, the devs shouldn't change it because we've learned now, you know? That's part of the fun, but oh, God, that makes trade cards faster, but you can't trade, well, I mean, effectively in a 1v1. Literally anything that has gold on it right now, Red is clicking. I don't even think Red knows what these do. Red's just like, oh, gold is really tough for me. Click all the gold. What other texts have gold on it? Are there any others? Uh, I can't think of any more. Well, actually banking, but I don't know if they get banking after coinage. Can someone tell me if Goths get banking? Perfusion is actually super good because it increases the production of your infantry out of that barracks. Is it a good idea to ask devs to disable coinage slash banking for 1v1? No, I really don't think so. Like... As selfish as it is to say it would ruin our fun, there's just a lot of confusing things with this game. And if you don't know, you don't know. When you do, you're like, oh, okay, that's confusing. I think the game's too old to change those things. It would make sense in some ways to, like, not have texts that aren't relevant to 1v1 be removed, like coinage, I guess. But I, listen, you know that if they were to change that for the for three months after that, the pathing would be awful, and there'd be balance problems, and, like, Teutonic Knights would somehow have lasers shooting things out of their eyes. I don't think that's high enough priority to push a patch out and, you know, have some bugs. So, um, elite Teutonic Knight now on the way, and we've got a big old fight. Also, we have our first relic picked up, and that's right in Max's face. Big fight here, folks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Random Treb. <laughs> Just nuking stuff. <laughs> Monk's gonna die. Let's see how these knights and elite Teutonic Knights do. Again, with full armor, the Teutonic Knights would be shredding here against the Huskarls. But the Huskarls are actually still gonna, you know, pack a bit of a punch. And Red's got a lot more in Q. Max, sometimes you just have to let your units fight. I like the Trebs. But you have to just let your units fight. Don't click them as much. Max continuing to add galleons somewhere. And we'll see what that's for. Actually, I think Max is making galleons to engage against this and keep the wall alive. Max sees this. So Max is making a navy for that navy. That's so funny. 33 on gold for red. All this gold's being taken. Oh, but Max sees it. Max sees it. 
And I don't know if Red is going to expect the attack on the other side. Petards from Red. Petards are good against buildings, not units. A little unrealistic. I feel like if a dude with a massive exploding barrel exploded next to me, I'd probably die. Teutonic Knights don't. Here comes the side attack, and I don't know if Red is expecting this. This is pretty nuts. Quite a raid we have on our hands here. What's actually helping Red is now that the TC is down, the villagers have to walk back to the base to drop off these resources. And Teutonic Knights are really slow. I think Max has clicked more units here to raid this area, though. So Max is the initiative, just like this game started with, with that one single villager. Who made this village, by the way. This is all her offspring. I don't know where she is. She was weak before. I could check later, but... This is crazy, man. Max is killing a lot of stuff. Max has killed 69 eco this game. And has only lost 6. And it's... I mean, it's only going to continue. Red did treb something down here. I'm not sure what it was. It's like... I mean, th this is just non-stop action. Still taking the gold. Like, the fact that Teutonic Knights are slow is a really big deal here. And there is a... I guess a Teutonic Knight against a Light Calf happening. Uh, Huskarl's on the way, so let's do the math. Huskarl's are doing 13 attack. It is 10 melee armor, so they're doing 3 damage a hit. So that change to get Elite Huskarl added... It went up from 1 damage a hit to 3. Which is nice. Still, obviously, lots of armor on the Teutonic Knights. And Teutonic Knights will take good trades. Imagine if Max knew about the Blacksmith. I don't think Max is ever going to know. I'm waiting for Max to bring the Navy in. <laughs> oh, the fishing ships are getting sniped. That's sad for the fishing ships. I'm also waiting to see if Red's going to try and get a relic again, because Red did try that but right when that fight started. 90 villagers now killed by Max. And Red's still producing more, but they're not going to the gold. So Red is slowly running out of gold. This game could still go either way. Red still has a 50 population lead. Still has a massive army. Max still has gold, though. And still has castles. And still has Teutonic Knights. Still has Teutonic Knights. But Red is getting the relics. Run! Run from the capes! Don't run to the capes. Run from the capes. Oh, God. Pathing. Please go the other way. Just passing. Just passing, my friends. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Red's getting all the relics. Red's getting all the relics. Does Blue see it? Oh, no. Oh, you have you have enlightened the enemy. The enemy now knows that you can do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. You have informed the enemy that, that you could get relics. I, I, I mean, that doesn't tell the enemy what that actually does. Where are you going, Red? What is this? Oh. <laughs> I love how Red doesn't seem to know that this is there's like a base here. Red's like, hey, there's some stone. That stone hasn't been there in a bit. Okay, well, I mean, good, good, uh, good job noticing it on the mini map. Oh, God, Red's trebs are going down here. Red is collapsing against the force that is Max. Red is falling apart. Max could do it. Max is at 16 elo. Monastery's been trebs down. Trebs here will defend. But a big force from Red. Red's not finished yet. And Red also trebbed down. Max is treb over here. What is happening? This is crazy. Genuinely one of the best low elo games I've ever seen happening right now. Trebs are trebbing down things everywhere. This is complete chaos. And meanwhile, Red's converting Teutonic Knights, which is going to be pretty valuable. This is crazy, man. Now, if Red could use these Trebs against castles right now... Oh, no, okay. They're going to Treb v. Treb battle. Good. All right. Okay. Trebs have not gone down yet here for Max. The Teutonic Knights are here to defend. 
The Teutonic Knights here are dead or converted. Um, and then the Treb battle here should go the way of red because red is more Trebs. It is 90 population for both. Red is out of gold. Tevez still has three villagers on gold. And that is the three villagers right there. Tevez is, is Trebs more Huskarls than I thought I'd ever seen get Treb in my life. Now remember, in order to make Huskarls, you need gold. Um, so it's really important for Red to get these relics again. But it's kind of hard to relax, I imagine, because of the aggression right now. I don't know what Red's thinking, but like these fights have not looked good, right? So there might be a lack of self-belief here. A unit that would make sense for Red with having Perfusion, the fast production of the barracks, is actually Pikeman. Because um, at least it would produce really quickly. Whereas the other units you're using now don't really produce quickly. But pikemen are also bad against Teutonic Knights. But so is everything else. Right? The best unit Red has out against Teutonic Knight is realistically like a Monk. Or the Huskarls. Which at least do 3 damage. Ballistics is in for Red. Skirm, run away, you traitor. I think these Trebs would be exposed. <laughs> How's that Skirm not getting hit right now? Okay. Treb for blue goes down. Is red gonna leave with these Trebs? No. And so the Trebs get found, and Max is making hand cannons now? What? Max has found more units? I'm astounded. Also, Max lost the Treb here. Oh, God. Red is making a trade cog. If red starts to trade with blue, though, and comes back because of trading with the enemy, I lose my mind. So, so guys, remember back when I said caravan doesn't do anything? Oh, it's trapped! It's trapped behind the dock! This stupid game is so unfair to beginners. Oh my god. Thanks, DE. I mean, red probably didn't even know what it did, so it wouldn't have seen anything, but it is now trapped behind the dock. Could have maybe made a run for it over here and you could, like, get some gold from the enemy. Oh, the the traitor Teutonic Knights just got killed off. Well, guys, if, if Blue hasn't been killed yet and Blue now has more villagers and Blue still has gold income and we're also starting to see skirms and, like, scouts and, and I mean, two hand cannons, I'm really beginning to fear for Red. I'm a little surprised that... I... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! Red! <laughs> okay, Red has clicked ship right, which uh, means your docks produce a little bit faster, I think, and make some ships cheaper. Anyways, Red has queued up 14 more trade ships, and I think deleted the other one because it was trapped. Right? Where did it go? Yeah, it must have deleted it. Now, you cost gold to make those, which is horrible, of course, in this situation. Well, they're like, we've tried everything. What else can we do? They're both in that stage of the game. Villagers getting raided. Teutonic Knight does get converted there. So, guys, what is on the second page of... Oh, no, fire ship. Okay, so check the second page. Oh, my God. Trade heist. Trade heist. Trade heist. No way. No way he's trying it. Blue's got navy. No. He's actually, Red's actually trying it. No ballistics. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 23 trade, baby. 23 gold. Let's go. I mean, if you just got to keep that up for a solid 10 minutes and you've got a big old bank of gold there. Okay, that one didn't work. This is like a, this is like a slot machine at the casino. It's like, if you win, you don't win really win that much, but it gives you the satisfaction that you did. And at the end of the day, the house always wins, right? So, you know, I don't know. I mean, Red is bringing the Navy over. Dude, if Red, there's no way. There is no freaking way. Now, the castle hurts. The castle's the worst part about this. But the galleons were blocking the path. And no ballistics for blue is going to continue to be the case. Now, 
We have crop rotation being researched again by Red. Okay, another trade cog is making it. Uh, blue is going to attack the navy. I think if it's one trade cog at a time, it can actually get away unscathed. Yo, flawless! What? Meanwhile, red is losing everything, but I'm not actually that interested. Let's see. Because if it happens again, I think it might happen every time. What? Yo! Defend your eco, red! Defend your eco! You have a chance! You have a chance, man! Blue will never realize that! Okay, all the farms are dead. That's bad. Oh, that one almost went down. Alright, well, all the farmers are dead. Max is rolling in with the Trebs. Max is ready to go to town. Again, trade continues. The trade profit is going to be somewhat okay. Red is not looking here. Because Red isn't producing anything anymore. Red might just be enjoying this right now. Red is probably looking at the screen just laughing at the fact this is actually working. Sold some food. Bought some stone here, Red. Oh my god, and Red's gonna... Oh my god, guys! Okay, the dream is alive! Red's gonna build a new eco over here and trade boom on water. The gold count's gonna be insane. Red's gonna have a new base, which Max will never see. That is Red's plan right now. <laughs> now, I'm a little concerned about the housing situation because that's a lot of houses that have to be rebuilt, but the plan is, is clearly in. Uh, blue... Has just clicked everything after the castle. Just everything. Just clicked it and Red actually resigns. Probably because galleons were coming out from Max and Max noticed it. And Max wins the duel. Wins the game. Max was 16 ELO. So I don't know what you get when you beat a 63 ELO player. But it's going to go up from there. And that was one of the best Louis the Legend games I've seen in a very long time. What a great duel from both of them. Couple things. Teutons. They have the free murder halls. They have the long range castles. Those, like, castles are so valuable in these games. Um, uh, just, I guess, 22 kills for these castles, but like 40 just for these castles. Castles got a lot of kills in this game, is my point. Also, Teutonic Knights have tons of armor. When you're a player who doesn't research any armor upgrades, that's really helpful, right? Especially when you're up against a player who doesn't get a lot of attack upgrades. That armor's helpful. So I think, like, the Teuton bonuses, I think the Teutonic Knight... Like, the Teutonic Knight is actually just perfect at lower levels because players don't necessarily know some of the other aspects of the game. Um, Blue also went forward, made it messy, sent the villager there, built this stupid wall, did a lot of crazy stuff. Did all of it make sense? No. Did it all frustrate and annoy Red? Yes. And there was like quite a long period of time where Red was just focused on defense. This tower was a defensive move. You just go further and like here, this is a defensive move. Never did Red ever go to Blue's base. Like Blue's base is wide open, but Red was so paranoid in defense that that is really what worked out here for Max. Now, my tip to Red would actually be two things. Maybe don't pay attention. Like, okay, hold on. Let me back up. My tip to you, Red, is only if you want to win a bit more. If you think this is less fun for you, continue to do as you're doing. All right? But it's probably not good for, like, your focus on the game to try and sort out your villagers like Dark Elf does. Probably not. And then you could focus a little bit more on, you know, just countering. That's it. If someone hits you, hit them. That would be my suggestion. Because right here... Um, Max is making a castle that protects this area. This is not protected. But, I mean, again, it was just like Red was in this frame of mind. Red was shell-shocked, thinking the enemy is always going to show up with something new and maybe felt if, if the defense is good enough for a long enough time that, you know, the game could could be won. Um, Goths really struggle against the Teutons, too, so you could always consider a new Civ. But, guys, that moment in the game where I said that Caravan wasn't good tech here, and where it didn't pay off was actually incorrect. What was the trade profit? Trade profit. 236 gold, baby. Hey, that's enough for a couple more trade cogs. I mean, is a trade cog 
50 gold a piece? Can someone remind me? I think it's like... It might be a bit cheaper than a trade cart. I forget. Maybe it is the same as a trade cart. So it didn't. They didn't pay for themselves. So it's still a hundred wooden fifty gold. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't pay for themselves because he made like ten of them, and caravan didn't pay for itself either. But I mean, there was profit. And clearly, it was just the KD that was the problem. The fact that Blues units traded five to one this game, or maybe not five to one. It was um like three to one. Five hundred nine kills. 178 deaths. And um, trying to see if there's any other stats we missed here. Apparently red was really fast right there. And blue had some moments. But um, I... Man, this is like what Loey the Legends is all about. The game's confusing. The game's tricky. Not knowing what certain texts do. Having a back and forth game. Having the micro be far from perfect. Like, this is Loey the Legends, man. The longer I do Loey the Legends, as much as I love the 500s and the 700s and the 800s, whatever, give me some sub 100s, man. <laughs> if that's what this is, and you know maybe there's some other factors at play here for the rank, I, I don't know. Um, I, I would definitely like to see more of it. So, Max Tevez 28 above 16 Elo now. F caught. Uh, you know maybe we'll we'll win a few more games, get close to that hundred. I don't know. GG, hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, YouTube's going to love that one. At least I hope so. Look at those amount of techs. <laughs> this, this many technologies and very few blacksmith techs. <laughs> oh, man.